To make this recipe, you will need four Roma tomatoes, one jalapeno, one serrano, a quarter of a red onion. Oh, I didn't say how to cut any of them. Four Roma tomatoes, one jalapeno. I still didn't say how they were cut. <laughs> Welcome back to Plants Not Plastic. I'm Nikita and I bring you recipes that are delicious, inexpensive, simple, and healthy. Today I'm bringing you a super simple recipe for homemade salsa. I love rice and beans with salsa. I eat it all the time and I actually had about a year where I was too lazy to cook anything except rice. So I was taking my rice, pouring a can of beans over the top and actually using a jar of paste salsa. I realize now how easy homemade salsa is to make. You actually get fresher ingredients that taste better and it's cheaper than if you bought something at the store. My homemade salsa is less than a third of the cost of a store-bought option. Um, I'll go into a little bit about the nutrition at the end, but it is a topping that goes on recipes and not something you'd eat on its own. Um, if you want all the nutrition details though, you can go to my website, plants.plastic.com, where I'll have a full nutrition label that links out to Chronometer. But as always, this recipe is whole foods, plant-based, low fat, vegan friendly and made without oil. To make this recipe, you will need four Roma tomatoes diced, one jalapeno finely diced, one serrano finely diced, a quarter of a red onion finely diced, one clove of garlic minced. You can also sub an eighth teaspoon of powdered garlic if you don't have fresh garlic on hand. I've heard these called a bunch of different things, but you'll want a half teaspoon of uh, crushed red pepper, chili pepper, or chili flakes. And then the juice of one whole lime. I don't have any fresh limes, um, so that is equivalent to two tablespoons of lime juice. You can also put in a quarter cup of fresh cilantro. I know it's weird, but I actually don't like cilantro, so I'm gonna leave it out for my recipe. This is probably the, this is probably the, what? <laughs> This is probably the simplest recipe that I've shown you yet. I've got all my chopped ingredients here in a bowl, my tomato, jalapeno, serrano, onion, and garlic. Your cilantro would be in here too if you're adding it. Um, all that you need to do is put in your red pepper, your lime juice, and then salt and pepper to taste and mix it all together. Oh my God, doesn't that look good? Now that it's ready to eat, I'm gonna serve it up with some rice and beans. Just kind of a big bite. Hmm. Oh man, that's so good. The base of this recipe is really the tomatoes and the onions, so you can make it your own. If you want a mild salsa, you can leave the peppers out. If you want it to be spicier, you can add more in. If you want it to be smoother instead of uh, chunky, you can throw it into a blender or a food processor and pulse it a few times to make it smooth. You can really do whatever you want with it. Um, and you know, because there's no cooking involved, you can taste it and add more or you know, take things away by like putting more tomatoes in to make it less spicy once you've already prepped everything. So my salsa is about 30 cents per cup and this recipe makes about four cups. Doing a store-bought comparison, there's gonna be a range of salsas that you can buy. Um, if you get something that is like a non-perishable jar, um, it'll be just over a dollar to about a dollar fifty. If you're doing a fresh salsa, there's a range, but it seems like per cup it's about a dollar fifty to like two dollars and fifty cents. Doing a nutrition facts comparison doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's already a whole food with no oil, um, and it's just a topping that goes on a lot of other dishes. Um, the serving size. The serving size for a store-bought is also really small, so um, it doesn't show a whole lot of things like fiber, which it definitely has. Um, so I think that the real benefit here is that it's a lot cheaper and with how easy it is to make, um, you're gonna get an awesome fresh salsa at home as opposed to buying something pre-made at the store. So that's it for today. If you like this recipe, please do subscribe. If you try it out, let me know by commenting below. You can also subscribe to my blog at plantsnotplastic.com as well as follow me on social media. All that information is detailed below in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.